Tesla has whispered their secret plan where they will be producing solar-powered electric vehicles so that you can be backed up by the sunlight. But the important question here is how much will the sunlight be able to back you up? Welcome to Smart Sense. Today we will be talking about one of the biggest projects that Tesla has in the works right now. Make sure to subscribe for a year of good luck. Let's start the video with Elon's master plan for Tesla. In 2016, Tesla published a blog that in reality was more of Elon Musk's blog. However, in that blog, Elon tries to explain the second master plan of Tesla, which would take Tesla to the next level. But before we start describing the plan, you will be getting to know whether Tesla will implement their master plan on the upcoming super cool Cybertruck or not, and will also be able to see the solar technology installed on it. So make sure to stick through the end. Let's start with the idea of the plan. The aspiration of the plan was sustainability. Not the sustainability of Tesla itself, but the sustainability of Mother Earth. Elon describes in his secret plan that we are very quickly burning fossil fuels and the day when our civilization will collapse is not that far away. So we need to look for a path that takes us away from the use of fossil fuels and tries to maintain a life without causing much pollution. After that, he begins to describe the key points of their plan, which the first objective is to deploy solar energy tech in their cars as well as in people's homes. Since this video is centered around the first, we will only be discussing the solar vehicles and the solar power part of the plan. What is with the plan? But a question comes to mind. What is Tesla trying to achieve here? As you know, they are the leaders of the long-range, one-charge electric vehicles. But clearly, that wasn't enough for them. With their second master plan, as we previously said, they are aiming for sustainability. And it would have been left uncompleted without adding solar energy to the arsenal. So the future of Tesla will also now be centered around solar energy, while they are also working on long-term batteries. Solar energy in their vehicles, though, is more likely to be seen when Tesla starts producing their batteries. It is concluded that an average American drives around 30 miles a day, which is a considerable distance. Now imagine how much pollution is caused by a single American, and what would happen if the vehicles they use on a daily basis were to be solar-powered. Well, electric cars are great, yeah. But, from where does the electricity that you are using come from? The answer is mostly from fossil fuels, which is a little bit ironic. So it would be a lot better if the cars were partly solar powered too. If the solar power won't back you up for the whole 30 miles, at least they would back you up for half of it. That is a very significant amount of energy you would be getting from the sun, not to mention all the vitamin D. But the main question is the achievement of this dream. Well, the technology has been grown around solar panels, but still, the efficiency is lacking at most. As far as the solar panels, they give you an efficiency of 20 to 25% at normal pricing, that price being $2,500 to $4,000. At the peak, the sunshine intensively shines for just five hours, while in those five hours, it also depends on the area and the angle of the solar panel. But most of the problems can be solved using solar wings. Tesla is looking forward to using solar wings on their initial release. A big part of their plan started when they bought SolarCity for almost $3 billion. SolarCity CEO Lyndon Rive also happens to be Elon Musk's cousin. Elon knew that if he proposed the offering of buying SolarCity, the board would not agree. So he tried to clear his idea behind it. He called the deal blindingly obvious. He explained that Tesla will never be able to create their solar product unless they get to have SolarCity by their side. Eventually, the board agreed to a $3 billion deal. They could have bought any similar company, but this one was flying high with success. What will we be seeing? With SolarCity by their side, we will be seeing great things from Tesla shortly. Since the solar electric vehicles are a little far away, they had to put SolarCity to some use. Tesla is nowadays selling top quality roof solar panels for home setups, but that is not the real motive for buying the company. The solar panels were added to the Model 3 car of Tesla, but after a year, they were removed because of the surface area of Model 3 and more importantly, due to efficiency. It was estimated that the Model 3 on average was getting backed up for only seven miles if the sun was on peak. Since then, they are working hard on becoming the first company to launch solar electric vehicles. It was rumored to get solar Cybertruck and much more of the upcoming future like Tesla Model S, etc but it is impossible to see solar vehicles until late 2022 or 2023. Is the technology great enough in 2021 for the upcoming Cybertruck to be solar powered? Well, solar technology was not great enough. In 2018, it was rumored by Tesla that the conceptual Cybertruck would have the support of being solar powered. 
But in February 2021, Elon said that a solar electric van would make more sense than a solar Cybertruck. So why he said that, he clears it out by himself. He says if you were to cover the truck's bed, front, and the upper area, you would be able to get only one kilowatt power per square meter. As for the 20 to 25% efficiency, it will merely tail back for just 10 miles. Elon adds that if you get to go for 10 miles, you would be lucky. It is all because of the area the solar panels will cover. That's why he said a van makes much more sense. With the van, you get to have a larger area. This area goes triple when the awning goes out when it is stationary. So now, with this big flat surface, you will be most likely to be tailbacked for 30 miles in a single day. So it is more likely to see solar electric vehicles in the next four to five years as Solar City grows, and more importantly, as the solar technology grows. That's all for today, so make sure to mention your thoughts and when you think we will get the solar electric vehicles from Tesla. If you liked our video, then don't forget to press the like button and subscribe to the channel for more Elon videos.